assembled here at the Los Angeles Auto Show is the history of Lincoln in a nutshell. Many of its classic and most iconic cars over the years, including this 1956 Continental Mark II, built especially for Elizabeth Taylor. Mm -hmm. Very personalized car. Yep. Jim Farley is the new executive vice president of Lincoln, also head of global marketing for Ford. Uh, is this the sort of thing, maybe not the car itself, but this idea, what we're looking forward to from Lincoln in the future? Yes, we're about to launch our new MKZ and really launch Lincoln. Um, the company has made this kind of commitment to Lincoln in many decades. And our idea is to bring back the idea of a personalized motor car. Something that was made just for one person. And uh, that was always the promise in the 20s and 30s and 50s, 60s, 70s for Lincoln. We really want to bring that back. A lot of trends happen after the Great Recession in the U.S. People want a smaller, more personal brand. The cars themselves? Do they matter as much as about what you can do to the cars? I mean, what are we talking about as far Good as product question. moving forward? Uh, well, I think the MKZ itself has a very personal, ex um, warm execution. For example, it has the largest opening sunroof in our industry um, of a mass production car. Uh, literally, the entire roof opens. You look at the stars. Um, we have a push button transmission which really frees up the center instrument panel to be much more architectural, more beautiful. I think those personal touches to make a mass produced automobile feel like it wasn't made for you know everyone is exactly the kind of image of the product. But nowadays people experience, expect just as compelling experience in the dealership. Our idea is not some huge monolithic dealership with 200 people waiting in the waiting lounge, more like your local tailor, more personalized uh, brand. So for example, we're going to be the first luxury company that when you're shopping for Lincoln, you actually can have someone on your computer talk to you through the purchase, any questions you have, personalized shopper on the internet. The lineup right now, made up of sedans and crossovers, we got one truck, the Navigator. Uh, one thing a lot of these cars have in common, two doors, mm -hmm. a couple of suicide doors actually, <laughs> on some of the four doors. Uh, is this the sort of product we might see in the future? Is this a direction you need to go in or is it just a whole new ballgame these days and there's new types of vehicles that will serve Lincoln? Well, I think we're going to focus really on the core segments. That's where most of the customers are. That's where we can really excite people with our new brand. So we're starting the new MKZ and the MKZ Hybrid. That's launching literally in the next month or two. And then we have a course of uh, three brand new products over the next couple of years that are completely new. And um, the next one will be coming up will be a small C-segment vehicle. Uh, that's a very high growth part of the U.S. industry and we feel we can add a lot to those new smaller vehicles from at Lincoln with kind of our DNA. So I don't want to be specific about a two or coupe yet, um, but we're really going to compete in the core market with these four brand new products. And who are you competing against? There's a lot of different types of luxury mm. brands out there. There's Lexus, there's BMW, uh, the new Cadillac. What's the one that Lincoln's mostly going up against? I don't think there's really a brand that has the same kind of um, you know, ideas as we do. So I don't think there's a direct competitor, but you know, brands like Audi and Lexus, Infinity, those are the kind of brands where I think our customers will come from and shop. Uh, we're also seeing a growing trend of people who want to buy a luxury car, but they're looking for something a little bit warm, a little bit more individual. Um, and so we think actually we'll get some of our customers who haven't, who haven't really found that there's a luxury brand for them. I think the brand that's probably closest to our DNA would be like a Jaguar, but maybe with more personalized service. 